and Mrs. Vinegar. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. Vinegar lived in a vinegar bottle. The bottle was made of glass, but it had a wooden door. One day, Mrs. Vinegar was sweeping her house when Broom ran right through the roof and broke on the glass everywhere. He was very upset, but Mr. Vinegar tried to comfort her. Let's go out into the world and seek our fortune, said Mr. Vinegar. I take the door and carry it with me on my back. It may be useful. Walked all that day and night to enter the sick forest. They were both very, very tired. Miss Vinegar did not want to sleep on the ground, but she was afraid of wild animals. Then Miss Vinegar said, my love, I climb in the tree and jack up the door. You will follow me. So Mr. Inigo climbed the tree and set the door between the branches, like a platform. We both laid down on the door and fell asleep. At night, they wake up with the loud voices of the men on the ground below. Men were robbers, and they had meant to divide their money. Mr. and Mrs. Vinegar were very frightened and trembled so much the door fell to the ground. It gave the robbers a fright, and the door went away. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Vinegar sat in the tree and held on to the branches until morning came. Then, climbed down, they looked at the door and found forty golden guineas on the reed. They were very happy, and Mrs. Vinegar jumped for joy. Then we got to think what better to do with the money. Now, my dear, said Mr. Ringo, I'll take me what to do. Take these 40 guineas out of the neighboring town and buy a cow for the market. I'll make butter and cheese, which you will sell. And then to make a fine living. Mr. Ringo agreed. Took the money. And set out to the town. When Mr. Nigga reached the market, he liked the very first cow he saw. The very red one. I see the happiest man in the world to find that cow, said Mr. Vinegar. He offered all his forty guineas to cow and all the soldier cow lightly. That's 40 guineas was far more than she was worth. So Mr. Vinegar went off to the cow. So Mr. Vinegar said about that of crafting cow dung. He left a man on to play in the bagpipes. He was listening and she was dancing with the plate. Money fell, he just kept when he held it out. I'd be the happiest man in the world if I owned those bagpipes, said Mr. Vinegar. So he opened his beautiful red cow in exchange for the bagpipes. Ron the red bagpipes agreed to take the cow and gave Mr. Vinegar the bagpipes. So Mr. Vinegar went after these bagpipes. The money did not fall into his cap when he held it out. He had no idea how to play the bagpipes. And when he blew, it only made them terrible sounds. That went everybody way.
and children in the room so dirty and What's the Mr. Lenigan? What's the long coming with pipes and the yarn? He felt all very unhappy. It sounds this was very cold. When the first man with fine fixed fur and gloves in his hands. I should be a happiest man in the world if I own those gloves, said Mr. Lenigan. So we often treat back pipes in exchange for those gloves. The owner rubbed his gloves to greet and took the bagpipes. So Mr. Nigga put the gloves in his hands and went out to way. He had walked a long way by now. It's very tired. So, would you make the man who was walking quickly with put strong stick in hand? He said. I should be a happiest man in the world if I were to a stick. Said Mr. Vinegar offered one gloves and strange with stick. Who knows the greed and took the gloves? So, Mr. Vinegar went out the way with stick in hand. Went to gloves, Mr. Vinegar waited the forest when he left his wife. A bird flew up to the tree and took and took out. Ha ha! Mr. Vinegar, we are a foolish man. You stand your foot again, you send a cow with a rose into your stand. Then you change the cow from backpipes and couldn't play. Then you change the backpipes and with cheap hair and gloves. Then you change the gloves with a poor stick. And now you have nothing to show to the dread. Poor stick, but you can get in the forest. You are a silly man. The vinegar got so angry that you would but Especially, the bird said it was quite true and threw the stick off it. A stick stuck in the tree and couldn't throw it down. <coughs> so when Doc said Mr. Vinegar was nothing at all. No money, no power, no bagpipes, no gloves, and no stick. And you beat some for it. <laughs>